Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Industry, as I told, we apply a lot of process. Lean's process, brush process. So let's understand this process which we use in industry because in industry we need huge amount, right? We can't use zinc to produce uh, hydrogen gas, it will be very costly. But in lab, we don't want to clear, invest so much in the setup. So we don't mind spending little more on um, uh, using zinc and hydrosulfuric acid to, pr to produce pure hydrogen because also we need pure hydrogen and we need less quantity so we can use that process but for industry we need huge quantity so we can't consume uh, we can't use zinc and sulfuric acid right because the uh, requirement is huge so we use uh, Lane's process and the Bross process let's explain this process so it has two steps actually it has two steps the one step is the oxidation stage and the second step is the reduction stage so what we do here is we take the red hot iron very hot iron in this we pass steam very very red hot iron we pass steam at almost 1050 kelvin very high temperature right so when you do this the reaction goes as you have iron hot iron plus steam is in water it gives you Fe3O4 plus 4 hydrogen gas right so now my iron became Fe3O4 but we can't waste it right so because we are telling that in industry we want to prepare hydrogen max we have done it but we want to reuse it so for reusing it we will go for reduction state this is oxidation state let me change the color now I'll talk about the reduction state. So in reduction state what we do is whatever we have got this guy Fe3O4 we pass with water gas. We will talk about water gas. This is nothing but combination of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. The two hydrogen molecules we get from here only or we can prepare the water gas separately. We get 3Fe plus 3H2O plus CO4. So with this if you see the iron is returned back to the system correct again we can do the oxidation stage we can guess for hydrogen again we'll the, do the reduction stage will convert this back to my iron and thus we can pre create more and more hydrogen gas right so the idea is to create more hydrogen gas and we, we should not use much resource so we use iron we oxidize this again we reduce it back to hydrogen so here also there are two steps actually so in this the first step is actually to create sink gas create sink or synthesis gas also called water gas that is the first step and the second step is actually gas shift reaction to produce more hydrogen Right. So let's take the first step. Step one. This is step one. This is step two. So you want to prepare sink gas. We can prepare from carbon, coal also, coke actually, and we can also prepare from hydrocarbon. And nowadays in the market, uh, it is it is prepared from sewage waste because just to reduce the cost. So if you want to prepare from coal, so let's suppose you want to prepare from coal, we we'll change the color. So you want to prepare from coal. So we have coal is C, the coke one. You have add water to it at a high temperature, right? What you get is CO and H2. And this is nothing but my water gas. Or you can see that sink gas. Correct. So from coal we can easily prepare. If you want to prepare from hydrocarbons, let's do that also. Let's do from hydrocarbon in green. So this is my hydrocarbon. So hydrocarbon will be C3H8. Here also you add water and similar temperature. You get here also 3CO7H2. This is also you see nothing but 
वाटर गैस और सी गैस करेक्ट सो वंस आई हैव माई वाटर और सिंह गैस आई यूज द सेकेंड रिएक्शन गैस शिफ्ट रिएक्शन जिसमें स्टेप टू राइट स्टेप वन आई हैड टू ऑप्शन वन वॉज फ्रॉम कोक एंड अदर फ्रॉम हाइड्रोकॉर्म नॉ है स्टेप टू सो इन स्टेप टू वॉट वी डू वी फ्रॉम सिंह गैस सो द रिएक्शन इज लाइक दिस फ्रॉम सिंह गैस और वाटर गैस वी हैव we put some water in this and we again heat it but less lesser temperature 673 kelvin and we use this uh, iron chromate fecro4 with this what you get is you get more hydrogen gas here and plus carbon gas so let's uh, let me do the reaction here example h2 and co this was my syn gas and i add water to it 673 kelvin and iron chromate what you get is hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide correct so once i have my hydrogen gas i have to collect this so the next step you can say is collect the gas collect the hydrogen gas So what we do? Whatever gas we get, hydrogen, carbon dioxide gas, this whole thing is bubbled into cold water. For example, the the same one which we have used in hydrochloric acid, right? Uh, preparation of uh, this thing, uh, hydrogen from uh, uh, what do you call it? sulfuric acid and uh, zinc from uh, in lab. So the same thing, this the gas bubbles which you get, it is collected over water, right? So I have CO two and H two. both is both i have co2 and hydrogen gas right gas are collected in the cold water at 30 atmosphere pressure now how to separate see i know that co2 dissolves in water dissolves in water but h2 they don't dissolve right so co2 is dissolved in this water only and whatever you left you get here is hydrogen gas because we have two gas right to separate it so what we do is we just uh, uh, pass this to the cold water the co2 gas is dissolved in water and the hydrogen gas escapes out correct We'll take some examples. The question says, how can the production of dihydrogen can be obtained uh, from the coal gasification be increased? So, as I told, the coal gasification is nothing but the process of creating uh, the syn gas using coal, right? So, I have my coke, and what I do is this is coke, and I put water to it, and I increase the temperature. what you get is co n h2 that is nothing but my syn gas or water gas now i have to increase the production of this so what do you do is i will use gas shift reaction just now we we understood this so the the output of this is this guy my syn gas will add some water to it will use the catalyst iron chromate fecro4 will keep the temperature at 673 kelvin what you get is hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide this is what we do okay thank, thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again